Hey, Speedy the Toys here, and I am back here with Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. I've been anticipating this game for a long time, and I am ready to play the second game. I played this when I was back in college. I did upload it to my to uh, to my channel if you haven't seen it. It's pretty old, pretty dated, I think, back in the day. But we're gonna continue the story, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen because I am so curious to see what happens. There's like stuff happening in the screen down there. What was that loading? <laughs> We're back. How? How? Wait. How did I get here? Am, am I? Is this another? <sighs> All right. These are from the same creators uh, from After Party Night. Uh, Night School Studios, they are amazing. Riley? Riley, are you there? Riley? Yes? Riley? Are, where, where are you? Are you things jump. Uh. What's going on? What's... What happened? Where am I? <laughs> Dangerous. Oh boy. Are we on the same island? All right. Yo. Oh my lord. Because I'm playing this. Yeah, as you know, on the PlayStation 5. For to activating the... Uh, the walkie, the trigger. It's like a walkie. And I've used walkie-talkies. Oh my god. That is so... I, I love... I love the PlayStation 5 controller. I say controller, I know it's control. Anything to explore here? Man, we really jumped back into this. There's a... And I checked before I started, you know, the settings and stuff. There wasn't a recap, so let's just jump in right in. What does that say? Are we gonna be a place to deserted? Hello? Is anyone in here? All right. Well, now then. Can't really explore that much. If you guys are are amazed that Oxen Free has a sequel like I am, because I really did enjoy the first one that I played it twice. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more because I really do enjoy this. Let's go up. Hello? What's the prop? There we go. What the hell is... Oh. I don't even want to look at it. Can I look over here? Can I use that? Yes, we just have to enter. Oh, 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 whoa. Nineteen fifty two. 
Uh. Um. Where is this? Where am I? Bury me. What? Where you can't see walk. Is this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, Evelyn. an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. Uh, 8 p.m. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just going to be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Oh. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, yeah, I remember TV this stations, place. even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear, for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know how to use a walkie. Like how to use it, generally? Uh, no, that's alright. I think I got the hang of it. Over. Alright, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. So we need to go to the general store. Good to know. I like exploring. Oh, this is a beautiful game, I'm not gonna lie. Even though I've been playing, what, a few... Minutes here. Like always, the first part is gonna be the longest part. If you're even if you're tickets for the ferry to Edwards Island, children under seven must be accompanied by an adult. I wonder how many lonely eight-year-olds want to spend their weekends touring bird colonies. You tell me. Last stop to Washington, they said. An hour from any town, they said. Ugh, I just cannot believe I forgot my headphones. <laughs> so I'm guessing the time loop is still going on for our heroes in the first game, right? Let's go Copper Creek Tail. Or not? Can I not go up? Guess not. Unless this is a bug. <laughs> Where's the general store? Also, comment down below if you like like weird stuff like the back rooms. Oh, that is the general store. But I like to explore. Let's see what has changed since the last time we were here. Evelyn. Well, that's a mansion. This building looks like Lewis and Clark could have slept here, but the uh, security's new. Maybe it's a meeting house now or something? Maybe. But if you like the, like the back rooms, uh, that one that copies people, the SCP Foundation, the classic, you know. This has that feel, that feeling, you know. 
Or maybe... Wow, that's, that's the trails up there. Let's just go to the general store, shall we? Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health Jeez. class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. Not yet. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Back Wednesday? Okay, Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn. Is there like another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. What about the climbing gear? Oh, uh, okay. But what about the climbing gear? Don't I... Uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sure. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. There's a posting on the bulletin board for an entry-level researcher. Is that you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, that's... They should pull those down now. Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing All right. gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Sounds like a plan. How do I zoom, though? Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Let's see that map again. I want to zoom. Can I zoom? Oh, that's how you pan. Okay. And this place is bigger than I thought. Also, how in God's name do you do that? <laughs> yeah, I remember this part. What a pain that was last time. All right, let's go. Yeah, the fact that my triggers are like super tight now, it's amazing. I, I love that. Oxen free too. Yeah, the the way it loads, it is creepy. It's like cryptic messages. Well, this place seems seem better that it's better now since our, our last crew. I wonder how they're doing. Oh, crap. Is he down there? Missing. Lucy Pasterson, age seven, no, born 1979. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. That's what I'm going. I'm guessing this is my partner. No, no, it's not. Hey, uh, so sorry, but are you... Jacob, Jacob Summers. Oh, hey, yeah, I, I'm Jacob, which makes you uh, Riley. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, man. Uh, well, well, wait, how'd you get it here? Was it working before? It was, but not now or, or i'm just an idiot let's can we try something yeah the key's in the ignition could you just start up the engine real quick i'm trying to see if it's the uh um, sure what the hell oh thanks it's just i don't know what the issue is sometimes you just have to like jolt it and start it oh crap oh, okay uh, turn, turn it off back well 
weeks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. That's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our... Uh... Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh... uh... Jacob. Sorry. You go by Jacob. Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. Oh, well, can't we fix the truck? Call a tow company or something? Uh, we, we kind of have to get started. Our permits are only good for the next two days. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? It's right there on the blanket. Well, I do have the backpack. I promise I won't think of you as our pack. Uh, then why even say that? She didn't say over. Oh, neat. That is neat. One tonight and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Did she just do like so like Link? Okay guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Uh before I finally get some dinner? I don't think I have any questions, no. Alright guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. Yeah, we're gonna be trouble on time. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. All right, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. You want to bring a radio? Are you, you planning on listening to music along the way? Or? Uh, no. Uh, there's lots of kind of cool stuff we can do with it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, huh. thanks. It tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Uh, 93, I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. What did he skip like that? Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Oh, they, look, they Should have shoes on, on the on the board. Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Hard to miss. So, uh, Evelyn, she's she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Yeah, <laughs> she's definitely a type. I feel like you see Evelyn's running stores that sell nothing but Christmas stuff what? all year round. <laughs> yeah. T uh... Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class, and uh, he... What? Was period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. Peanut butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but... I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures. Yeah, a handyman at heart. I'm kind of a big deal myself. <laughs> but I signed up for this. Partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? Super like, strange like, more stuff. than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, you have no idea. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. But I, I guess we'll see. Okay, remind me, what's so special about Edwards Island? Isn't it like a tourist trap? Oh, yeah, it was. Still is, kind of. But people aren't really allowed there yeah. anymore. The hours are really limited. But uh, it was Fort Milner for decades, an old World War era bunker and military base. There's a lot of stories. But, yeah, anyways. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to well, sunset. Well, mm, Wapiti means deer. I mean elk, actually. Just in case you didn't know. Actually, it means elk. Elk are mountainous, deer are grasslands. And Wapiti's an Americanization of a Cree word for elk. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. But uh, we were talking about radios, yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. But you seem okay. <laughs> you overslip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I, once. Twice? What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. Tamina High School Radio Station. This could be them. Your fearless host, Maria Lopez. What do you mean? I'm pulling the overnighter tonight because Kyle, my partner in crime, got sick. Or at least claims he got sick. I know he also just finished rebuilding his Akai 81 8 track and is probably just recording different talks around it. Interesting. Anyways, I'll be your guiding light tonight, my lovely little moths. So, let's kick the next hour off with another song, right? Here's a something, I don't know. Oof, uh, this part's reasonable. Oh. Uh. To this evening's theater of the air drum. Oh, that's enough of the radio. God, I missed that. I was hoping something happened, but I think we're too early on this game for, for that. Wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Are you tired already? Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> can I use the radio? Turned out to be a really nice night. My uh, dad and I walked these woods before. I was five or six, and we were coming up to the entrance to the uh, the park, and I saw something off in the woods, something that I just remember it made me slip, fall a little. And my dad, he, he pulled me back so I wouldn't go off the ledge. He hurt my shoulder, and I had to go to the hospital. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually always hated these woods. I didn't even remember that I hated them until now. Yeah, these woods will kill you if you let them. Jesus Christ, so pessimistic. Yeah, I mean, you, you trip, you fall, you get a tick in your boot, a rattlesnake in your hat. The existential dangers start to add up. Yeah, that and other stuff. What do you mean, good sir? All right, thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Let us go up. I mean, I'm not an avid hiker. The people over here wanted to hike up serious mountain. I'm like, no, thank you. Sit with the excuse. It's one in a lifetime BS. And I'm like, no, I'm good. It's going to be one of my like final videos I do here in Colorado before I move. Just over the crust, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. What is this? Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open till like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. 
Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn. Tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we can hike up those. Oh, you have to jump? Sorry, this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Seems you know what you're doing there. But, um, mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Come open up the gate after your topside. Brother, I wouldn't do that. I don't trust myself. You need a running jump for that. What are you doing? Whoa. Avery Music? What? Inconsequential. And matters. Things that I didn't care much about are now of vital importance. Ugh, matters. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So. When you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Let's see if we can open this for our little friend over here. Oh, hey. You made it. Good job. You doubted me? Not for a <laughs> Let's ignore Bobcats, I guess. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Canaloa? It was a, uh, you know, a uh, casualty of I like all this story coming back. The USS Canaloa back. was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, you're so always, anyways. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire. That we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story, not... Getting exactly right. Sometimes things just aren't what Like you, saying. Jacob? I don't trust you. Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. But, uh, any interest in the other, other story about the submarine? Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? She's a scratch, Jacob. Uh, let's give him. Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kenaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. So. I should make that a survey. I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. The back alley tour, huh? It, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself a recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh. Hogwash. Your mileage may vary, I guess. I mean, sure. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, comment you down below if you have some weird stuff that you cannot explain. Tamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat. At least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out. Jesus. Oh, it's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. 
They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. When someone kept sticking gum over the nah. eyes, really lost its luster. So is, oh, whoa. Is that the island? See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. We don't usually get skies like this. Yeah, that doesn't look great. Kind of foreboding, right? Yeah, maybe. We might want to do this quick. Bro, I love that scenery right there. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. There it is. Of course, it's pointed to Edwards yeah, Island. It's working great. I, uh, of course, it is. Yeah. So, should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn. We did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. Signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh... Yo, I hear glitching in my second. headphones. What the f... Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me, what color is the little light blinking? Cuz... No, I know. Just let me find out first. Uh... Jeez! Uh-oh. Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, did you know? Is this is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting with the. Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. Oh, I could not Are we back in the past? Something's wrong with it. Oh, I was almost there. What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. The, there's someone here. Who, Who is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Past right? and future? Hey, where are we? What? What? Huh? Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Hey, wait, e Evelyn? We didn't we already do this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm uh -oh. Evelyn, a new Time researcher with breaking. the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Oval Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can hear you okay, surprisingly. Can you hear me? Over. Riley, how are you hearing me? Um, Evelyn, I, I think something's wrong. D didn't this already all happen? Didn't what already happen? The, uh, did Leslie give you the instructions? Didn't we already do this? This whole, I woke up on the bench and you called me and... Already do what? You've... You didn't talk to anyone else, right? This is your first day with us, right? Evelyn, just... It's just that everything is wrong, or... or I don't know. Maybe I... It's okay, Riley. I'll... Uh, let's... Let's get through the instructions here and maybe we can circle back. You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's... Uh, damn it. This isn't the right time. Hey, wait, kid. You, you Didn't I see you before? Away. Keep away from all of this. For your own good. This isn't for you. Just, who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't, don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Uh-oh. Stay back. Hey, wait. Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Riley? Evelyn? There was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion. Uh oh, Ta the timeline is breaking. I'm just glad the 
walkie's still kind of in range. But our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to, to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or... Well, ruin. Ruin. Look, it's her again. She keeps trying to. Stop resetting the timeline. This is worse than, uh, than when you die in Undertale, I swear. What the hell just happened? Radio disable and walkie talkie is off. Well, I did know what absolutely f burning now. This definitely wasn't uh, here before, nope. right? Right. Am I supposed to align the. Oh, that's perfect. Let's fix the timeline. I'm guessing this is to fix the timeline. Fix it, please. What was that all about? Well, the map is still working. So I can check these two places. Oh, I, I, get, I can go to funnies now. Funnies. Oh, we're checking over here first. Oh, great. Stop resetting me. Did I do something wrong? I mean, okay, clearly I did something wrong, but what? Oh, for fuck's sakes. You have got to be kidding me. Again? <laughs> ah! Bro, I would have been... I mean, at first I'll be hyped, I'll be like, after a few tries, I'll be like, I'll be like, why? Oh, it's burning to the floor. Oh, do we have to follow the computer? What in God? Space time? Go back. Wow, this is gonna be hard. I made it look like a no, 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 no. Go back. Like a radio. Okay, that's good. Not gonna lie, this is hard, guys. Figuring this out maybe may cause some problems. Bro, I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm honest. That was funny. Okay. There it is. Fix the timeline, please. Jacob? Jacob, you around? Oh. I guess not. Maybe he's back at his truck? I gotta find him. This is going to be okay. The forest is the town of trees, where they live quite at ease.
with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities wide. I don't know. Was that a town saying? What was that? Uh, Riley, right? That's her name? I'm so bad with names. If you're enjoying this long video, remember to leave a like. 10 p.m. What the heck? Um, hello? Is anyone there? Evelyn? Echo? Echo? Whatever. Piece of... Oh, wait. It's... God damn it. It's cracked. Huh, great. I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... She better know what the hell is going on. And our radio is disabled, too. Maybe I can only figure out how to use my microphone as I'm live streaming with my headset. What the fuck? Jacob, are you in there? Answer, please. I don't know what the hell is going on. Ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta get my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. There was a... Oh, wait, there was a, right. a giant triangle in the yep. sky above Edwards, right? Did that... Yeah, that... That that happens. That... Oh, man. Are you okay? You seem alive. I'm very far from okay. Maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I am many, many miles from feeling... Same okay. here. Yeah. Me too. Well, wait, are, are we talking physically or mentally? Yeah. Ah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's, it's Evelyn. Jesus. Hello, are you there? Maybe she has, like, any idea of what the hell is going on? Yeah, here's, uh, here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you oh boy. over? Oh, jeez, guys, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. Okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. Over. <sighs> okay. All we have to do is look at the transmitter and tell you what it's doing. Fine, we'll just do it and regret the decision Ta later. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. Yep. Thank you. This should work. Uh, okay. Uh, ready? Because I'm not sure I am. <laughs> Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. Do we so, know? I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters. Right? So, if it's up to us to do this, then... Well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but I know we can figure it out. I mean, you, I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. Yeah, I, uh, I believe you. <laughs> he really does like us, huh? I think with that, we're going to call that a video, guys. I don't want to make this over an hour long. 
If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I am so excited to continue playing Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals. With that being said, this has been Pimen Toys, and I am out. Whatever you do, use those radios to see if you can talk to an alternate version of yourself. See you guys later.